Welcome back to Mufa Day. For our move today is Master Tracks Pro version 4.0, a uh, 1989 uh, music sequencer or tracker running here on Mac Plus. Let's check it out. So we've got a few different options here. I think we're just gonna let's try getting right into this Pro 4. Apparently, uh, this uh, this program originated in the middle 80s for uh, C64 and Apple II and uh, Atari ST as well. All right. Man, we got a lot of windows here. Okay. <laughs> I don't think we have anything loaded up right now. Let's see. Uh, let's check it out. Okay. About Pro 4. Good, uh, good title screen. Copyright 1989 Passport. Little uh, Apple in joke there. Chooser. Chooser's inactive, I think. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, what do we have in our menu options here? Okay, songs. Layout. Goodies. Memory, conductor, markers, sex, notepad, keyboard setup, MIDI setup, click setup, chase controllers, and record filter. Or record filter. I'm curious. Wow. I'm, I'm curious. Uh... Oh, okay, I'm guessing this is for like MIDI recording. That makes more sense. Or maybe when you're recording a song, the things to record. Those are the two options I can think of. Uh, let's see. File open. Let's see if we can open up uh, an existing track like Bach Invention Number One. Handily there for us. All right. Let's see what happens. Well, I wasn't uh, wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I thought uh, I thought we'd get some audio. Let's see here. Change file. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Alarm clock. Control panel. What's control? Uh, is the is the volume down in the control panel? Maybe I don't know. <laughs> I feel like uh, missing something here. Wow, this is just like the new uh, Ventura uh, control panel. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Let's do speaker volume at seven. Alert sound setting. Boing, clink, clank, monkey, or simple beep. Okay. All right, maybe let's try try playing now. Let's see. Stop. Play. Mm, doesn't seem to be doing anything. Let's see. I'm not sure. Let's see. Windows. Windows. Okay. Track editor. Step editor. Eventless editor. Eventless editor. Maybe this is like supposed to play out over MIDI, so we're we can't hear it on the internal. Uh, Speaker, but that would be that would be crazy, right? Click, stop, rewind, play. Oh, so we get the click sound. 
Yeah, I think um, maybe we're not going to get any audio from this. Uh, kind of a bummer. Because I don't know how you would even go about getting uh, MIDI audio out through MAME. Kind of wonder as well what happens if you open that MIDI file that's on the disk. Conductor. Let's change conductor. Oh, okay. Set meter, set all tempos. It would be fun to play with this stuff if uh, we could get the song to play. <laughs> I mean, it definitely seems like it should be playing uh, something there. Let's see. Song playlist. Okay, yeah, so you can play multiple songs. But I think uh, I think it's trying to play it out all over. Let's do MIDI setup and see what's in there. Port A is modem, port B is modem. Port on port mode. Oh, no. Oh, so you've got a modem port and a printer port. Both of which you can use for uh, MIDI. Uh, yeah. So I'm not sure. If we're going to be able to play anything on here. Change. Well, keyboard setup. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's for your MIDI keyboard. What's this X? Okay, system exclusive. There are no messages in buffer. Maybe this is some obscure uh, MIDI thing that I don't know about, <laughs> but yeah. Well, I don't know that there's gonna be much more to this move a day. <laughs> See, we can quit. What happens if we open this MIDI file? Converting MIDI. Okay, let's see. Yeah, no such luck. Let's see what we get for count in. Okay, so just like a little pre click. But yeah, I don't think we're going to get any music playback on Master Tracks uh, Pro. Which is kind of a bummer, but uh, I think that's going to be it for us here on Mufa Day today, and I will see you tomorrow for our next Mufa Day.